continue through the through the um, the park, and then you would come to the corner of, of Queen and Picton, and there was the Prince of Wales Hotel, and there was Fields Drug Store, which hadn't changed, I don't think, since probably the turn of the century. It was pretty. There were signs that were still hanging in the windows advertising things that probably didn't, mm-hmm. that didn't even go no longer available. George Field was another character that I remember who always was always dressed in his three-piece suit, large gold watch chain, and he had glasses somewhat like yours. And he would always we could go in and, and assistant. I think her name was Miss Myrtle, who was his assistant, and she was always dressed in a pink in a in a silk frock and heavily rouged. I remember that and smelling of a scent of lavender. <laughs> Just to go in there, we were looking for Mother's Day's presents. She would always be delighted to show us all the things that they had in stock for years, and you could buy some, you know, uh, some powders or, or soaps or things that I think they'd had for, for decades. <laughs> He had covers full of things that were there, and that was a, it was a drugstore dispensary. Pretty much the counters were intact. I mean, it was, it was quite sort of a uh, mix, mishmash of things that have been added over the years, but I think a lot of the equipment that they still have there was there. And, of course, there was the usual signage for the period advertising products that still from the 20s and 30s that were out there. And you could go in there and you could look for something nice for your mother or whoever. <laughs> And we were very kind, you know, it was, we'd pay a dollar or something for a, a, some soap, and take a pair of soap or whatever, and take it home as your Mother's Day present. And that continued, I was still, you know, running, I, I pretty much up until the end, 1964, when, when it was closed, well, he always would greet you at the door. You know, he's always neatly dressed, and he said, I've dated suits, but he was always neatly dressed, ready for business.